What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be trying out Japanese KFC. Now, I got to be honest, there aren't that many crazy things on the menu. Not as many as I was expecting, but still a few interesting things. A few things with a Japanese twist. And I got a plethora of things. This all came out to about $40. Or actually, I think I got it for like $37 because I got a $3 discount because of a late order. And this order was late as well. So I have another 20% off or whatever it is for my next order. Anyway... Um, yeah, there should be nine items here, including the drink. So let's go down the line and show you what I'm working with. Right here, we got the five-piece nug. I'm pretty sure I've had KFC chicken nuggets before, but I'm actually, I'm not sure. So that'll be interesting to try. Um, this is what they're just calling boneless chicken. And it's just like a, like a flat piece of boneless chicken. Um, this one is a little bit different. They're calling this one the crispy strip. And it does look pretty crispy, and it does look like a strip. It, it appears like it's kind of battered fried, kind of like a fish and chip style fry on that one. This one right here is one of the really only couple things that had a Japanese twist to it. This one is called the Wafu Burger. I was told it's actually pronounced Wahu, but in English, they spell it Wafu. Uh, not sure what's going on with that, but... Supposedly, it means Japanese style. So this right here is a Japanese style chicken sandwich or chicken burger. This is a Japanese KFC biscuit looking a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's got like a kind of, I thought it was going to be a hole all the way through based on the picture on the app, but it's not all the way through. I'm sure I could poke a finger through there pretty easily, but that's kind of weird. And I had to get a piece of original Ch uh, just the original chicken just to compare and contrast I couldn't pick which kind so they sent me this piece right here um, and this is the other kind of Japanese inspired thing supposedly yeah okay there's some teriyaki this is the teriyaki twister looks like just like kind of a, a wrap probably using the crispy strip that was over here but uh, yeah it's got some lettuce mayo and we got some teriyaki sauce we also have a drink the english is weird on this they're calling this like shicharia lemon cola i think they're trying to say sicilian lemon cola but i'm not really sure on that one we're gonna find out and last but not least fries the good old box of fries they have three different sizes small large and then box so i went with the box and i found that pretty interesting as well just uh, a big old box of fries here. They also gave me one thing of honey mustard and one ketchup packet. A measly amount of ketchup for all these fries right here. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's just get go down, starting with a nug. Um, and yeah, there were a couple more different kinds of like chicken sandwiches, but that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing else that was kind of interesting, at least to me. Anyway, chicken nugget going in. All right. I'm thinking the last time I had a chicken nugget, I, I think it was from the Domino's, the Domino's chicken nugget. Not a huge, these are like slightly better, I'd say. Not a huge upgrade, not bad. I mean, I'm Maxi's all day. They're kind of soft, decent flavor to it. Um, could have a bit of a crispier texture on it. I'm not sure why all my deliveries are so late these days. If it's because they can't find someone to pick it up or what's going on, or if it, the guy just stagulating, taking his time to get it here. So I don't know if the food has been sitting out is what I'm saying, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, delivery, it is what it is usually. Nuggets, I got no complaints. I would put them at like a B tier, honestly. Well, for what they are, you know, like if they were fresh, they'd obviously be better, but just for the uh, delivery. Well, maybe C plus B minus. Not going to blow you away. Uh, let's go ahead and try out this crispy chicken. Or sorry, this is the boneless chicken. It 
That ain't bad at all. That is not bad. Let me try some of this honey. Oh, sorry. Did I call this honey mustard earlier? I thought it was. This is honey maple. And I'm assuming that this is for the biscuit. Honey maple. I guess you could try it with the chicken. I didn't see any options for sauces on the, the app either. So that's one thing I've, I've been noticing a lot. Um, it's kind of a theme that when I order, not a lot of like extra sauce options. And if you don't add any extra sauce options, they're not gonna give you much sauce. They, you know, you gotta fend for yourself. Yeah, this looks like mm, just some syrup, maple syrup on some fried chicken. Kind of that fried uh, chicken and waffles type of vibe, maybe. Not bad. It's not bad. Honey maple. That's low key. If you're someone who likes, uh, you know, like a, sorry. Ah, shit. like a chicken and waffle type of dealio, or just, you know, sweet, salty combos, honey maple, not just maple, not just honey, but honey maple on some hot fried chicken, that's a combo. That is a combo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna use it later. Let's try some of these fries. I'll tell you, I haven't had KFC in America for so long. It's kind of hard for me to, to have a good comparison. I've had it, I get it in Korea occasionally, but usually I just get like the double down, <laughs> you know, the triple down, stuff like that when something crazy comes out. No double down here. Oh, by the way. Again, my biggest complaint with KFC in Korea is no mac and cheese. No potatoes and gravy. Same here. Not nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be found. Like that's, I feel like these days, that's one of the biggest reasons to go to a KFC. You know what I mean? But I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just not, I, I don't know. What, what's the deal with that? Maybe Asians are like, all right, we're eating fried chicken, which is already unhealthy enough. Let's not pack on the extra cheese and, you know, mashed potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's why they're a little bit skinnier. Or we. All right, let's keep going down the line. So far, we haven't touched anything that has any kind of Japanese-inspired things. And like I said, yeah, these were the only two. So I'm going to start off with this chicken sandwich. So this is the Wafu. Not Waifu. Actually, it's apparently Wahoo. Weird kind of bun on it. It looks a little bit... Like, one too many grains in there for me, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes when I'm eating a, uh, a fast food burger, I don't want anything whole. You know, I want overly processed white bread it looks like we got some cabbage maybe some mayo and uh i'm assuming just some kind of standard teriyaki sauce looks like a square piece of chicken right there almost looking like wendy's shape yeah this is kind of reminding me of like a chicken katsu sando something like that like a you know what i mean i don't know mm. All right. Well, that chicken in there is incredibly tender and juicy. Good amount of mayo on there. But I, you know what? I stand by what I said about the. Uh, hold on. Can I do this better. I stand by what I said about the bun. 
I'm tasting like, you know, it's like wheat bread. It's like whole grain. Um, I'm getting some of those flavors in there, which I don't know how well that works. Usually when you get some kind of like cat, cat's katsu sandwich, um, it's just plain white bread. Or maybe it's like milk white bread. I don't know. What is white bread? It's not wheat bread. You know what I mean? I think that's a missed opportunity on their part. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there's a lot of missed opportunities for KFC here in Japan. This actually being one of the most minor of them, the bun selection for this sandwich, but like I said, the mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and gravy situation But, also there's a lot of like, Jap literal Japanese style fried chicken out there that is nowhere to be found on the KFC menu that they could easily add like kar chicken kataraga, chicken nanban, which I had in that, uh, the first convenience store video I did. I'm thinking about doing a second, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like a uh, yakitori, chicken, you know, skewers. I guess that might be harder to pull off, but like there's plenty of chicken, like chicken dishes here in Japan. So I don't know. Let me try this. That's pretty tasty. Just like a kind of a lemon cola. Not bad. All right. Getting a little bit full, so we got definitely gotta try everything else out here. Let's try the crispy what was it? crispy strip. That's a crispy strip, all right. Actually, let me go back to back from the crispy strip to the uh, teriyaki twister because I feel like they're using the exact same chicken. Recycling. I mean, that's a pretty obvious thing to do, but. Teriyaki, this, I don't know, this really reminds me of Something. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. A lot of lettuce in there. So, you know, you're getting a lot of that lettuce. It is the same piece of chicken. I'm probably... 99.99 percent sure teriyaki sauce in there it just tastes like a standard teriyaki sauce that you get out a jar or something this right here kind of tastes like something that you get at a cafeteria and usually when i go to fast food i feel like fast food should be a tier above cafeteria level food at least for me, at least maybe even multiple tiers above. I love fast food. This tastes like cafeteria tier. I think that's what the problem with a lot of these wraps are. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, let's just take something on our menu and then put it in, into a tortilla and then flip it into this whole other thing. Again, just recycling. It's a shame because I was looking forward to this one because it was like, you know, the only other Japanese inspired flavor one that thing on their menu. Definitely not bad, but you all know what I'm saying. The original chicken. I'm gonna save this for last as a little dessert.
Hmm. Maybe it's because I've eaten so many other foods before this, but I gotta say, I'm not really tasting all those secret ingredients, <clears throat> the, the mixture, the spice blend, that I usually, I'm looking forward to with KFC. I actually really love that spice blend. The original chicken, can't lie. A lot of people hate on KFC, but I grew up eating it sometimes, and I like it. Not detecting as much of it on this original chicken. And maybe if I had eaten this first, I would have, but I don't know. To me, the boneless chicken had more of that flavor and was just better all around. Although, this isn't too bad. Hmm. Coming down to the wire here. One thing I noticed that I just thought of is no butter included, which that's, we all know, when you get the KFC biscuit, you gotta put on the butter. I'm not a big jam guy myself. It's just straight butter. And even in Korea, their biscuits are sweeter than the biscuits in USA at KFC, but they actually do include butter at least 95% of the time, I'd say. But let's take a look at this. Uh, yeah. Not bad. It's kind of got that Pillsbury flavor, you know? Maybe I, it's just nostalgia, but I remember the biscuits at American KFCs being so good. Like my favorite part of the whole meal almost. And in Korea, they're definitely not, they're always kind of hard and very sweet. Um, and this, it's different than the one in Korea. Is it better? It's less sweet, which I appreciate. It's not really sweet at all. but lacking a little bit of something. And yeah, I don't know. I need some butter. Honey maple, shoot, I, I prefer this on some chicken. So, some hits, some misses. Actually, there weren't any like major hits with this one, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. This is actually real nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just had to try it. Here's the thing I was thinking about. You know, like I said uh, in yesterday's video, I have been eating out at a lot of Japanese restaurants every time I'm not filming. So don't worry, I'm definitely experiencing all the, the good foods, the local foods, the, the, the vibes at the restaurants. I'm trying to eat like as much like a local as possible, I, I guess, but um, in the videos, I gotta say, like there's a, a lot of the Japanese food, um, I could get that somewhere else. I was thinking about this today. Like say, the takoyaki video I did yesterday, I, they ha there's a lot of places in Korea that sell it, and if I really wanted to, I could make it myself. I like kind of doing these, like, you know, fast food chains, because a lot of this food you can only get in that country, and it's different. So, like, say I was living in Chicago, or Europe, or Korea, or anywhere, I could, you know, find Japanese food, or I could make it myself if I had to, uh, to figure out that flavor. But you couldn't get Japanese KFC anywhere but Japan. You know what I'm saying? So 
I was thinking about it, like, man, should I do more Japanese food videos or should I, you know, stay in my lane? And I don't know, I'm gonna try to, my best to do a decent mix of both, but yeah. Don't hate on me if I'm just eating like Japanese KFC, Japanese Pizza Hut, McDonald's, all those classics, because that's what I do, all right? I don't know if there is actually anyone hating, but like I remember one time, when I went to Bali, I went to Bali for a week, Indonesia, and I wanted to try McDonald's, I mentioned it. And that was a mistake because everyone was, who I was around, uh, extended family perhaps, or friends of them were like berating, well, you came all the way to Bali, you wanna try McDonald's? I'm like, yeah, I actually do. I wanna see what's, what's good on the menu, you know? What's wrong with trying it once? And I never ended up trying it, and it's one of my biggest regrets of all time. So, with that being said, I'm skating out of here. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.